Hello, I am filming videos for today and tomorrow right now and I didn't really know what I was going to talk about so I decided to do one of those lists again. You know, list of 10 things in two parts. One day I will run out of things to list but today is not that day. I often feel that in my videos I give the impression that all I do in my life is watch BBC television, occasionally go to the theatre. But I would like to assure you that that is not the case. Sometimes I listen to BBC radio. That's what I'm going to talk about today, and more specifically, BBC Radio Comedy. I love listening to the radio. There are several reasons. One is the sort of thing that you can have on whilst doing something else, for instance chores, so you get to feel productive whilst also enjoying something that you like. Two, there is a really high quality of radio content produced in this country, and an amazing array of actors and writers who work on radio drama, comedy, all that jazz. And three, you can often go and see the shows being recorded, which I really enjoy doing because it's free, you just have to apply for tickets. It was one of my favourite things to do when I was at uni, because I was a poor student, and now I'm a, a poor graduate, so I still enjoy it now. So let's list ten radio comedies that I love. Number one is Hut 33. This ran for three series starting in 2007. It was set at Bletchley Park in 1941 in Hut 33, which was less famous than Hut 6 where Alan Turing worked. I was studying for a maths degree at the time so I really loved that there was a radio comedy that was good and that was about maths. Vaguely. Number two is Cabin Pressure, now perhaps most known for having Benedict Cumberbatch in it. But it's fantastic, it's run for four series from 2008 onwards. The final episode is going to be on this Christmas, it is a 45 minute long special. It stars Stephanie Cole, Roger Allen, Benedict Cumberbatch and John Finnemore, who also wrote it. It's a very funny show and I used to love going to see it being recorded, until Sherlock happened, because after that it became very difficult to get tickets. But it also introduced more people to the show, so that's a definite plus. Number three, sticking with John Finnemore. It's John Finnemore's souvenir programme. This is a sketch show written by and starring John Finnemore. It's very funny, he is an amazing writer. He also has a YouTube channel which he regularly puts content on, so I shall link to that below. A lot of sketch shows are very hit and miss, but this has far more hits than misses. If you love John Finnemore's writing on Cabin Pressure, then I can't imagine you not loving John Finnemore's souvenir programme. It's had three series so far, and the fourth is on its way. Number four is The Unbelievable Truth, which is a panel show with David Mitchell. It has had around 13 series. It has been running since 2007. It's a very popular radio panel show and it has amazing guests including Graham Garden who co-created it, Ed Byrne, Dara O'Brien, Catherine Tate's been on, Miranda Hart's been on, Sandy Toxvig, Sue Perkins, who else? Rod Gilbert, Adam Hills, John Finnemore's been on, Mark Watson. My number five and last for today is Elven Quest which is a kind of fantasy spoof. It's run for four series so far I think since 2009. It's set on Lower Earth and it involves a, an intrepid band of travellers who have to save the world from the evil Lord Darkness, who is played by Alistair McGowan. It can be very funny and I think it's worth a listen. So those are my first five. If you've listened to these shows that I have talked about, what did you think of them? See you tomorrow.